apps freezing, menus taking forever to load. Your Samsung TV isn't broken, it's just overloaded. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to clear the cache on your Samsung TV to fix slow performance and get things running smoothly again. It's fast, safe, and something you can do right at home. If you find this helpful, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more simple tech fixes. First, grab your Samsung remote and press the home button. This will bring up the main menu on your TV screen. Now use the arrow buttons to scroll and find the settings option. It looks like a little gear icon. Once you're in the settings menu, go down and select support. From there, choose device care. This is where you can check on your TV's performance and storage. Now select manage storage. You'll see a list of apps installed on your TV. Pick the app you wanna clear the cache for, then select view details. From here, click on clear cache and confirm your choice. That's it. This clears out temporary data that could be slowing things down. After you've cleared the cache, it's a good idea to restart your TV. Just turn it off using the remote, wait for a few seconds, and then turn it back on. This helps your TV apply the changes properly. If there are apps on your TV that you don't use, like Samsung TV Plus, you can also disable them. Just navigate to the app, press and hold the select button on your remote, and then choose either remove or disable. This stops them from running in the background and using up resources. Lastly, make sure your TV is running the latest software. Go to settings, then support, and select software update. Choose update now so your TV stays up to date and works at its best. That's it for this video on how to clear the cache on your Samsung TV for better performance. I hope this step-by-step -step guide made the process easy to follow and helped speed things up. Got any questions or did this method work for you? Drop a comment below, I'd love to hear how it went. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.